Vegas Pro window, you see the menus and buttons that give access to many of the editing features. You'll learn more about these as we go along. Below the button bar, a window docking area contains several windows, some currently visible and some not. You'll use the Explorer window to navigate through your computer drives to locate the media files that you want to add to your project. The Mixer window contains a set of controls called the Master Bus. The Master Bus consists essentially of a pair of meters and a stereo volume fader with which you'll raise and lower the output level of your project's audio tracks. As you build your project, you'll watch it in the Video Preview window. The window is black right now because you haven't added any video to your project. Generally, the Video Preview window shows the video that exists at the frame that corresponds to the current cursor location. You can move windows from the window docking area and place them as floating windows anywhere on your computer screen, or for that matter on a second screen if you have a dual monitor setup. For instance, drag the video preview window by the six vertical dots on the upper left side. When you get far enough away from the window docking area, a title bar appears above the window. Release the mouse button to position the window to float above the Vegas Pro workspace. To move the window again, drag it by its title bar and place it where you want it. Finally, drag the video preview window back to its original position. When you get close enough to the window docking area that the title bar disappears, release the mouse button and the window docks again. Several other windows are, or can be, docked to the window docking area. The time display shows the current position of the cursor in your project. This information comes in handy time and again as you edit. Right now your time display probably reads all zeros as mine does. In a moment, you'll see that change. The light gray area directly below the time display, called the track list or track header area, will eventually hold buttons and controls for each individual track in your project. Since you have yet to add any tracks to your project, the list remains empty. To the right of the track list, the dark gray area represents the timeline. Here you'll add media to your project and perform your edits. Most of the work you do in Vegas Pro takes place here. The Time Ruler at the top of the timeline lets you see at a glance roughly where you are in your project. The formats of the Time Ruler and the Time Display match. By default they show time in hours, minutes, seconds, and video frames. Click anywhere in the timeline area. A flashing cursor jumps to the point at which you clicked. Also, the Time Display updates to show you the precise location of the cursor.